Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Peter and in this video I would like to show you a set of mods that I have made to add a display into the Trustmaster add-on wheels. Trustmaster is pretty consistent when it comes to designing button boxes for their wheels and therefore there's basically two main models. One that they use for like this Sparco P310 or the Raleigh 383. And I'm sure you're all familiarized with these two models. And the second version is the one that's um, used in most of the other wheels, like the Ferrari 599XX or the Ferrari GTE, Leather 28, etc. So again, it's the pretty standard one. It's slightly smaller than the one in Sparco. Even the open wheel is using exactly the same button box. As you can see, and if we look closely, this is exactly the same thing, it's just the front plate is a bit different and therefore kind of forced me to come up with a slightly different design of my mod for it. And so by making the mods compatible with all of these uh, free wheels, I believe that apart from Ferrari F1 and the TGT, it will work with every other Thrustmaster add-on wheel. Before I continue with the detailed overview, I just wanted to let you know that because I have way too many wheels right now, I will be selling these two, so the 599 and the open wheel. And they will come with the full package, including the display and, of course, a full set of my quick release system from both wheels plus a very good quality coiled USB cable. If you are interested, please check the links in the description. Right, so let's look at the mods in a bit more detail. First is the Sparkle wheel. It has two dis display size options, 2.4 inch and the 2.8 that I currently have mounted. And this is because I prefer using the larger display, but unfortunately, due to the shape of the wheel's button box, it is not possible to have the display perfectly centered. And therefore, if we look at it, it is slightly offset. Um, to be honest, I don't really mind that, and I barely notice it, but just so you're aware. The display is held in place using a solution very similar to the one I used in my Universal Hub. The mount is locked inside the hub and has a 6-pin connector for the coiled USB cable. And that holds very nicely. The mod also comes bundled with the paddle shifter improvements. These side arms here hold up to two 12 mm magnets on each side. And this quite significantly changes how they feel. In addition, I have designed the paddles mod in a way that slightly decreases the travel which, in my opinion, makes it much faster and more precise. Next one is the Ferrari 599. 
The display is a bit too large to fit in between the buttons, so I designed a front cover for the Nextion display that nicely hides the gap between the screen and the wheel that would be in here. But if you don't like the way it looks, um, it is still fully compatible with all the Nextion boxes that I have made for my Universal Hub version 2. For this wheel, there are three display size options, 2.8 that you see in here, and then I also have the option to mount the 3.2 inch, that would look moreover like so, or even the 3.5 inch, that would be something like this. Yeah, I mean that's... Pretty large, but depends on your preferences. On the back of the wheel, we have exactly the same mount with the USB cable connector as in case of the Sparkle wheel. As for the shifter mode, the unit that I got has metal paddles, uh, which are magnetic, as you can see. But I have learned that it's not always the case. Um, some other units um, can be made of some kind of like non-magnetic alloy. And therefore I made two different versions for this modification. The one I have mounted right now um, has two sets of magnets. One is connected to the paddle and one with the arm to the hub. As you can see, again, the travel is slightly shorter, which is my preference, but I think you'll like it as well. And the second design is similar to the one for Sparco where the magnets have direct contact with the paddle shifter. So that obviously works only if your paddles are magnetic. And of course, same as with all my other designs, none of the magnets are glued and can easily be replaced or removed. Lastly, we have the open wheel. And because of its unique shape, I had to come out with a completely different design that is only compatible with a 3.5 inch display. Now, I am fully aware that this one is maybe not particularly pretty, but it's all because of how the Nextion display PCB is made. Because as you see on the back of it, there is a JST connector that sticks out from the PCB. And because of that, I had to move the whole thing up from the wheel, for, from the wheel rim and that kind of makes it a bit bulky. I could have removed this um, connector here and just soldered the wires directly to the PCB. But the thing is, that would make the whole assembly process much more complicated. And therefore I decided just not to do it. On the back of the wheel there's the same 6-pin connector for the USB cable and the magnet shifters. Now let me show you the assembly process. But before I start I need to point out that this mod is only compatible with the quick release adapter and it will not work with the original Thrustmaster design. 
Additionally, please be aware that the display will only work with the PC. There is no solution that I know of that would make it work with either Xbox or PlayStation. Okay, so the first step is to remove a small piece of rubber um, on the back of the puddle shifters. Use a sharp knife and cut it on the same level as the button box. I'll show a video on how to do that. Next step is to take off the PS2 connector. Remove the uh, front three screws that we used to put on the quick release. And take out the quick release adapter. The display mode requires longer 50 mm screws, so we will now replace the ones that we took off the wheel. Simply slide them in. On the back, put on the extension ring. and the arms for puddle shifters. Then put back the quick release adapter. For now, keep it a bit loose. We don't want to have it too tight yet. Before we continue with the next step, let's put the PS2 connector back on the quick release adapter. Now it's time to mount the display. I have made a document that shows step by step how to wire it and prepare the USB connector. So in this video, I'll assume you have it already done. Take the display and slide it into the gap of the extension ring, like so. Then take two 10mm M2 screws and lock the display in place. Now the only thing left to do is tighten the front screws and you're good to go. And there we are. Pretty straightforward, isn't it? If you are applying the mod for a non-sparkle wheel, like for example this uh, 599 or the open wheel, after removing the quick release adapter, you would also need to replace the part of the quick release that goes inside the wheel. Now if your wheel doesn't have the magnetic paddles, let me show you how to mount the, uh, the magnetic mode made of two separate pieces. First we have these two bits that are locked on the paddle directly. Um, this one holds the paddle magnets from the back and it has a small M2 nut inside and then we put another um, M2 screw into this hole here and just sandwich it, sandwich it around the huddle. So let me do that right now.
make sure it's all straight and just lock it. Doesn't have to be another forced. Okay. So now I'll do it on the other side and then put the whole mod back together. Now let's put back the part of the quick release that goes inside of the wheel, but this one is specific to this uh, magnet mod, so it's not the same as the one that's uh, part of the original quick release. That goes inside. Now the screws. The extension ring. Arms for the paddles mode. And in this case, there's also an additional shim that goes on top of the extension ring. Now we can put back the quick release. Put on the display. and lock it in place. And we're good to go. For the open wheel, uh, the procedure is slightly different. First thing is to take off the front metal plate, uh, which I already have done. And now we need to put on the back side of the um, display box. So one watch out here is that it has M3 inserts inside and this is critical for the mod durability. M putting these in is very straightforward. You simply hit up the uh, soldering iron and just push it inside. It goes extremely quick and without any hassle. So let's put, on, put it on. First slide in the cables through this gap here and then hold it in place with two M3 screws. Plug in the USB cable And now let's put on the front display cover. On the front cover, the Nexion display is held in place with four M2 screws and the nuts on the other side. So make sure you do that before assembling the whole unit. Let's connect the wire. Make sure our cables are loosely inside, in the middle, so we don't um, damage them when putting the whole thing together. Let's take the M3 screws. The last step is to put the remaining two M3 screws on the back of the display mode. And now we are finally done with all three wheels. And that's it. Hope you guys liked it. And as always, all the links are in the description. And if you have any additional questions or suggestions, please feel free to put them in the comments. Thanks a lot for watching and have a great rest of the day.
Bye.